leaving Tatami-san and behind him we move on. After change, after some time, our surroundings start changing again. What's this? It was Tatami-san's stage just a moment ago. Does that mean that from here on it's something different? Oh, that's a lot of liquor. Whoa. Sexy lens to moan. What do we have here? It's way different from before. It was a circus for a while back there, but this feels more like nightlife, don't you think? Yes. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the person who made all this is trying to accomplish. The person who made this, huh? Yeah. It's not like the TV world where everything reflects the mind of the one trapped inside. So the most reasonable guess would be that that voice made all this. It's trying to make them how they want. It's not like how they... How they see themselves, it's how they, how everyone else sees them. That's right, in our investigation inside the TV, the mind of the person inside affected the environment appearance. But based on Tamari Sun's case, this is different. So who's shaping this? Is it the voice, like Yosuke said? Who the said? heck is it anyways? It's been all voice and not one appearance yet. Huh? That's what we call it. Uh, you mean it's not a ghost? Yukiko. <laughs> Yukiko, I know it's unintentional, but you really should watch what you say before you start losing friends. <laughs> Look, forget the ghosts. Either way, we have no idea who this person is, right? Correct. Isn't there some sort of hint anywhere? You know, something not ghost, ghost related. Please. It knew Tamari. That Let's voice connect. was telling us in Tamami san to connect with them. Oh, that sounds pretty ghosty to me. It was written in that dressing room, too. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, tamami san said that the dressing room was the one in Takura Productions. If yes. that voice is the one shaping this world, then that it must, must be, be someone from it. Takura Productions, yeah. right? Yeah, and it sounded like the voice knew tamami san fairly well. tamami san was caught completely off guard when that voice talked about her mother and even, even her, her insecurities. Securities. All right, things are getting clearer. So the culprits related to Takura Productions. And knows kind of mean kitchen. These are as much as we could puzzle out for now. But Takami Production and Konami's Kitchen Agency, everyone knows them there. We don't have enough information to pinpoint the suspect. Right? Oh, Don, don't you ask me another question and then it's going to be like Adachi. It's Adachi again. I'm pretty sure we're classified as official detectives now. Shut up! We're here to save Tamamine, Sumomine, Tomomine, and Nozomine. Not to play your stupid game. That's a we lot of words know there, Yosuke. something to do with Takara Productions. We'll catch you sooner or later. Catch me? You're so funny. But how sad. You won't listen to a word I say. No, we kind of won't. Our Tamami paid the price because you poisoned her. She abandoned her bond with us. Ninja, don't say it like that! You're twisting things to make us yes, sound sir. like the bad guys! Maybe we are the oh, bad guys. Yes, you are. A cruel poison that eats away at our bonds. If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy, never having to deal with pain and suffering. <sighs> How about this? I can return you to the world you came from. Nah, we gotta we gotta solve the problem here first. If you're interested in making a connection with us, then you have no place here. Well, mm -hmm. you'll send us back. Well, that's good for us, isn't it? Don't fall for it, Chie. I'm almost positive that voice's offer doesn't include Tamami san and the others. It's only trying to get rid of us. Yeah. Oh! Oh, yeah! Sheesh! Trying to be sneaky, huh? We don't need you. We can't leave alone. We don't Sorry, need you. Sorry, but we don't need your help. We're going to save all the idols and return to our world on our own terms. Use right. There's no way we're just taking off on our own. I see. Then do as you like, I suppose. But I wonder, will yes. with you? Tomomi? She's up ahead? Maybe. Ding ding. Ba dum bum bum bum. 
I'm not ready for what I'm about to see. Good thing Teddy's not over here. Everyone's always like, Teddy's too sexual. But, uh, you know, the first three shadows he fought, right? You know, it's Yuki Kochiyes and Riseis. I think he can... I think he's allowed to think that way. He had no intention to talk with us anymore. It had no intention. The horde of shadows in front of us is proof enough of that. We all know what's coming next. We take our stances, brace ourselves for that Looks song. Looks like it's not going to let us through so easily. Why don't you just give in? The harder you persist, the more pain you have to suffer. Can and that's why. And you will be freed from everything. The volume of the eerie song keeps going on. The volume dance is affecting, and the shadows dance is affecting us. We're shaking up, but we can't let Ford to let our guard down now. We won't let the delude any of us anymore. That's my cue. No way in hell we're backing down now. Get on, Yosuke. All right, go, Yosuke. Show him that you can be cool sometimes. Gee, thanks. That's really encouraging. Risei, can you hear me? He didn't sign. Yeah, he's inside. All right. Well, I don't look that good, and I'm not as talented as you. But as long as I have friends who accept me for who I am, I'm gonna stick with it. Exactly. Time to bring the house down. Yes. Let's get it started now. All right, hit the music. It's all right. Just keep calm. Oh, I like this one. Oh, he's back again. Don't mess up now. I immediately mess up. Yeah. 
When I say yeah, I wish you say it back, say oh yeah. Yeah, I love it now. Let's change the world. Go, Jiraiya! Go, Jiraiya! For complaints there, Yosuke. There's a lot of room for complaint. We didn't King Crazy. That's the biggest complaint of them all. At the end of the song, Shadow surrounding us cheer and joy. Yosuke's drawing the shadows and freed them from the eerie song one by one. It's my spirits to see. I'm proud of him as his partner. Ah, Yosuke, well done. How's that for expression, huh? Not that bad, amazing. Yosuke. That was all you out there. Yeah, that dance had Yosuke written all over it. You don't give up, do you? No. Well, no matter. Whatever you do, our bond is eternal. Keep away, Shinkedo. There goes the voice. That really takes me off! Saying whatever and take it off just like that! Oh, I am so mad I don't care if it is a ghost anymore! Yo, Chie! That's called voice. character development. It was bothering me as well. Yukiko seemed to notice some things about it weren't seemed fairly it? strangely wrong. If people like you didn't exist, they could all be happy? Never having to deal with pain and suffering? Well, too bad. That's not how the world works. If you flip that around, isn't it saying as long as we're here, they'll have to deal with pain and suffering? Yes. Sounds like it actually understands what we're saying. They just want to sweep the pain under the rug. Maybe the voice knows what it's saying is wrong. Hmm. So what? It's painful to face the truth, so they're choosing to look away from it? Yo, we already had this. There was a whole game we played I about this. I noticed that it's hung up on the whole bonds thing too. It's just we Igor. Might be able to reach out to the voice after all. Reach yeah, out to the truth. We gotta make it come to its senses, even if it hurts us. In any case, yeah. our top priority is still saving everyone. If what that voice said is true, then Tomoe-san should be just ahead. Who's next? All right, let's get hyped. Let's keep our momentum going and save Tomoe-chan. Then we'll meet up with Risei-chan. So Persona 4 right Dancing here. is canon. Does that mean all the music in it within it is canon? In which sense did 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 Risei make all the music? <laughs> like who made the music? Is Lotus Juice canon in real in real Persona? How long have we been running? As so we run through the empty urban expanse, Yukiko suddenly calls out, pointing ahead of us. Uh, there's another uh, dance location, a reused uh, CG. Oh, there she is. Whoa, that's definitely her. Those wistful eyes, that alluring look, that flowing hair. That's Kanamine Kitchen's leader, Tomomine, the soft lamb. Wow. I mean, wow! Holy crap, this is a dream come true! Well, here we go comes to this stuff, you can't shut him up. It's definitely Tomoe-san. But since recognizing her before me, even though I'm the one who's met her, Yosuke is amazed. Like amongst herself, Tomoe-san noticed us and both towards us before we can call to her. You, you were with Risei-san. Yukun, right? Correct. Tomoe-san, I'm glad to see you're safe. Are you hurt? I, I'm fine, but I couldn't find anyone else. I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. Sumomo, Tamami, Nozomi. Oh, I hope they're okay. Tamami san looks really shaken up. The comp composer she had on her first meeting is long gone. Calm her down and decide to explain everything calmly and steadily. We just rescued Tamami san. She's with Miss Ochimisu now. The others are on their way to save Sumomo san and Nozomi san. Really? Correct. Oh, thank heaven. I was afraid something might have happened to them. Where's Tamami? I need to see her. She must be feeling terrible right now. 
Whoa, um, T Tomomin, calm down. You're not really, uh, acting like yourself. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I can't believe, I'm, I'm so sorry. Yosuke. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's fine. I was just surprised. I never really imagined Tomomin losing her cool, you know? Correct. <laughs> Come now, Tomoe. That's not the you that everyone wants. No. I we, what? Excuse me? The Aranda suddenly gets called and that voice echoes around us. This time it's definitely targeting Tomoe son. It's ready to move quickly in case anything happens. You again? We won't let our guard down this time. But she will. Your greatest performance is about to begin. Uh, uh, stop it! Can't you see she doesn't wanna? Of course she does. This is all for her sake, after all. No. Right, Tomoe. No, no, I'm not going. I don't want to perform here. Yeah, it's spoopy it's okay, here. Tomoe. I know you're just saying that. You will come with me. Okay, that's kind of threatening. It's what everybody wants. See? Oh no. All right, boys, about to solve a problem here. It's clear enough, everyone is referring to the shadows around us. It's trying to push its will onto Tomoe san whether she wants it or not. Look, the shadows here are connected by those ribbons, too. Guys, how many times are we going to keep pointing out that they have ribbons? <laughs> You're the leader. It's your job to live up to everyone's expectations, isn't it? Are you going to turn your back on them and run away? The, the leader? Tomoe san you need to get a grip on yourself. Don't be fooled by those words. Oh, you, you're right. After all that stuff with Tamamine, we can't let our guard down. We're gonna let I'll our guard down. protect Tamamine with my life. Yeah, but first we need to do something about these shadows. We're about to clap on boys, don't worry. Chie was right. Even if we can't take tamami san to a safe place, like the dressing tamami sans in, we need to take care of this first. So now, the only question is, is who's gonna do the dancing? Don't worry, I'll handle this. Yukiko! I kind of understand tomoe sans feelings. When everyone has high hopes for you, you want to make them happy, but your feelings are all mixed up. You don't want to disappoint anybody, so you struggle. It's always on your mind. You don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Yukiko. But you can only be you. Nothing good comes from lying to yourself. I understand now that telling others who you are and being understood makes life so much better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you think you understand? I'm afraid you don't understand anything. No one wants a thought that only brings you pain. Connect with me, and it will all be so clear. No. Uh, this song again. Alright boys, we're about to break out. What song is next? I think she has Snowflakes, which was an amazing song. The earring dance of the shadows begin. Next to me, tomorrow's song grows softer. Don't worry, you can go with put through. As I think this recent persona broadcast sound makes her so way to her head. To keep you waiting. Are you alright? Correct. Mr. Please prepare my song. There are shadows right in front of us. What? Um, okay, uh, Yukiko Senpai's track. Oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea to split up. I'm twice as busy here. <laughs> Sorry, Risei Chan. It's fine, it's fine. But promise me you'll use everything I taught you and make it your best performance. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll focus on doing my best and not worry about dancing well. Correct. Huh? Uh, you really should try and dance well, Yukiko Senpai. <laughs> Here I go. Start the music. <laughs> Come on, boys. Get ready to dance. Get ready. It's starting. All right, time to focus. All right, let's tackle this head on. Mm. 
Cuties. Yes. You because you're untouchable. It's reassuring to have you with me, Chie. Thanks. You did it. That was the best performance ever. Chie and I are definitely in sync. It's such a thrill to see. What a fantastic song, dude. Yeah, that's it. It had to be my favorite song from Persona 4. Golden. Because I know it's exclusive to Golden. So close. <laughs> Next. Thank goodness. It looks like they understood me. Dancing is hard, but you really can reach out to people if you put your heart into it. That's the whole point. You can go breathe deeply and walk to our side. Delicate, elegant, somewhat defiant. It was a beautiful dance and embodied Yukiko herself. That was excellent, Yukiko. Way to go, Yukiko! You were gorgeous! Oh, mm -hmm. man. That reminded me of the first time I tried asking you out on a date. Huh? You did? When was that? Oh, never mind. Forget it. I already learned not to expect anything. <laughs> So, you've poisoned them as well. That's not how it really is. And you know that, don't you? Chaining mm. shadows down here isn't going to help anyone. Yeah, if you want to bond that bad, go out into the real world. 
It might be tough. You might feel a lot of pain. But you gotta find someone who will hear you out and show them the real you. <laughs> You kids really are interesting, but you don't get it. Do we get it. Oh no. Yo, oh, is this a? They remixed the the song. Push people away. You know that better than anyone. Have you ever been loved, even once, for who you truly are? You only get hurt and betrayed. Isn't that right, Tomorrow? I. I'm. Tomoe san stepped back and shakes her head, both denial and terror in the voice. Implications. Tomoe san looks more frightened than I expect, which means just like with Tomoe san, the voice is deliberately trying to go for deep insecurities we don't know. Do you really want that? You're the leader. If nobody loves you, how can you protect anyone? This is fucked. <laughs> no. This is just like what happened with Tamamine. You! On it! Get him, Tom, get him. Go to the bed. Both Yusuke and I rush towards Tamari san. This is just like earlier. Then the instant Tamari gives him that voice. No! Oh, she's dead. Uh, ribbons from all directions knock Yusuke and me away. Both hit the ground. The ribbons coil around Tamari san and pull her down the path. So powerful. I braced myself for the impact, but I still couldn't resist it. <laughs> what did I tell you? Tomoe isn't going with you. <laughs> Damn it. We couldn't stop it. We can't give up for Tomoe san's sake. We'll keep trying until we save her. Come on. We've got to move. Yes, mm -hmm. let's go. If we hurry, we can still catch up. Oh no. Traveling down the path to Monisan is taking me. Cat an unbelievable sight. The floor covered in bright neon. Shells lined with liquor bottles, gaudy, and chitsy decor here and there. This is. What is this place? It feels like somewhere shady you'd go to drink at night. Although, not that I've been to one, but this looks kind of retro. Look, We've been there's Tomoe chan! <laughs> At Shia's exclamation, we found that we follow our gaze in the middle of the stream, surrounded by neon and all kinds of strange objects. Tomoe san stands looking up and yelling something. Oh. No! I'm not doing it because I want to! <laughs> True. You aren't the sexy type at all. In fact, you're so shy, you've never gone out with a boy. And have a hobby of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Noticing us, Tomoe san tries to run towards us, but the voice speaks again as if to cut her off, and Tomoe san freezes in her tracks. Forget who you really are, Tomoe. Sexier than anyone, dominant over everyone, the mature leader. That's the you everyone oh, wants. That's gross. <laughs> Here, listen to what everyone has to say. I love how she seems so seductive, in control. Like, they're supposed to be edible idols, but it feels like she's the one doing the eating. That's creepy. That better than you attitude gives me chills. 
I love that sultry look. Like she knows exactly what you want. These voices again! Without Tomomin, yeah, there's no sex appeal. I don't feel like supporting them without a little incentive. I have to admit, it's the sexy ones I get the hots for. And that's Tomomin all over. I... I... Ah! This is super creepy. This is like Risei's dungeon district because uh, that made me want to cry. This isn't good. I tried calling out to Tomoe san but it's too late. Tomoe san's lip quivering in fear. Oh god, that smile is creepy. Fear up now. Carve into a crooked smile. That's right. This is all I have. No, Tomomin! This is this is bad. <laughs> Tomoe san! Wrapped in ribbons, Tomoe san only laughs sadly as Black Mist starts co covering her body. This is just a Tomoe san. No, even stronger. The ominous presence engulfs the area and the. Huh? Miyasama? Covering Tomoe san begins taking shape. Everybody is happy this way. The real me is worthless. Not again. Why does it have to end up like this? <laughs> Keep your guard up. It's coming. Oh, Lord. No. That's right. I am the butterfly, the queen of the night. It's useless trying to show the real me anyway. No one would ever understand. Dun, 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 dun. Come here, babe. Connect with me and feel the heat. Leave it all to me and I'll mm. show you the time of your life. <laughs> Don't you prefer pleasure over pain? Why go through the pain of expressing yourself? You get nothing out of it! Hmm. That's not true. Ignoring the cheering, cheering of the shadow, suddenly failing the stanza stand to face Tomoe's son. My gaze meeting her. The two cold, glowing eyes beyond the beautiful butterfly mask. I yell out at that monster. There are times people don't understand you, no matter how much you try. But it's so worth it when you succeed. That's why I'll never stop reaching out to people. Yeah, Aww. what he said. I know it sucks getting hurt, but that doesn't mean you should ignore your feelings. Watch me, tomoe san I'll show you what it means to express yourself. All right, get him, you! You can do it! Rise, can you hear me? I need my song. Yo, you was dancing. Let's do this. Play the music. Showtime. Don't give up, Tomoe san. Keep your spirits up, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Perfect. Immediately messes up. All right. I keep. Scratching early. <laughs> that went well. How's that? Perfect. Yo, he going in? Right. I'll help out too. 
with me again sometime. Yukiko. Go for it, you two! How's that? <laughs> I was just there to make you look good. That went well. Yeah. Well done, Yukun. You really do have a magnetic personality. You really do. Did he do it? Yes. Sure, there are people out there who will accept Seven you as you are, Tomoe-san. Tomoe-san silently looks down as a deep in thought and raises her head and looks directly in the eyes. A newfound resolution burns in her when eyes. When I was a student, I, I told a friend about my hobby. She laughed so hard. I got scared. Couldn't face her. And before I knew it. We weren't friends anymore. Mm -hmm. Huh? Wow, I'm sorry. I guess that was when I learned to distance myself from everyone else. I was scared to be myself. Tomoe chan! Mm -hmm. I don't know the details, but I doubt they meant any offense. It's all right, Yukun. I know. Thinking back on it. It's only natural that she laughed. But thank you. I really appreciate it. No problem. We're here to solve problems. We're here to make I, people accept themselves. I I'm weird. I 
love manga. I watch TV at home all day. I just can't get out of my kotatsu. On my days off, I stay in my PJs, eat snacks, drop crumbs all over, and waste hours online checking my favorite sites. Uh, I'm too scared to hold hands with a boy. I'm not good at talking to people, and I always spend New Year's on my own. I see manga I like, and I buy it. Then I realize I already have that volume, but oh well, you know. God, I'm awful. <laughs> oh, she went off. Blading it out all in one breath and losing speed towards the end. Tomoe san's incredible confession comes to an end. What am I supposed to say? I can't think of anything immediately. Lutio came next to me for help, but he appears to be in shock, probably for a different reason. Uh, wait, uh, are you serious? Always. Yukiko san! Now is not a good time for that. What if this traumatizes Tomomine even more? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it is funny for sure. I mean, who'd need to, right? <laughs> oh boy. So she's that type? Oh, and I thought one was tough enough to deal with. Dun, dun, dun. Loya and all smiling, you can go into my son's left, their echoes throughout the room, and the rest of us just stand there staring in amazement. And suddenly a familiar beam of light descends on the spot a little way from us. There it is again. That same door we saw with Tamami san. Is this <laughs> the door to the dressing room at our office? How come it's here? Why don't we go inside? Uh, carefully. We don't know yet if it's safe inside. Just like I thought. It looks pretty much the same as last time. Yeah, you can't hear that song either, huh? Anyway, we should probably take a short rest. We've saved Tamami-san and Tomoe-san so far. I'm sure you're all feeling tired by now. Whew, don't mind if I do. This dancing stuff is really killing my legs, you know. Everyone relaxes, letting their tension ebb away. I'm a, I'm a little tired myself, and I can take a seat in a nearby chair with perfect timing. Risa calls about us with her Sama, persona. Are you okay to talk? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're good. We just saved Tomoe-san. I can't be going crazy. No, you're good. I, I can hear Rise-san's voice inside my head. And Yukun is talking back to her? Yes. Oh boy, here we go again. They can't help it. It is getting repetitive, though. I know that Yukiko didn't mean anything by it, but she could probably afford to be a little more sensitive. Yeah, Yukiko's always like, she doesn't have to be so straightforward about it, but then she does the same thing. I glance at everyone explaining persona communication in the corner of my eyes. I focus my attention on talking How to Risa. Is, is everyone all right? Mm, we're having some issues. I gotta say, it is a bit rough without you guys. By the way, about Miss Ochimizu. She did. Yeah, it seems like the shadows don't attack her for some reason. Wait, how do you know that, Senpai? Oh, she we came over here too. Oh, I see what's going on. Jeez, she does whatever she wants, like always. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It's nothing. Anyway, we've got some catching up to do. I'll fill you in once we meet up. All right, we'll yeah. be waiting. Bye, Senpai. Bye. As the conversation was recent, my friends finished up explaining to Molly son. We relaxed. The conversation turned casual. We were talking. Yukiko calls out to us. Barely noticing something in the makeup corner. Look. It's just like when we were with Tamami-san. Oh, no. Oh, not that again. And I was this close to putting it out of my mind. Too bad. Before reaching out Yukiko, we knew... Before even reaching Yukiko, we knew what she found. Just like with Tamami-san, a note. After making sure I had enough everyone's attention, I look at the 
contents as I thought. Although the actual text is different from the one in Tamami Son's room, it's pretty much a continuation. The morning glory won't bloom, no matter how hard I wish. I've already forgotten my true face. My love for music has grown cold. I'm scared to sing, scared to get on the stage, scared to face my fans' expectations. How would she feel if I left? I don't want to make her sad, but nothing can fill the void in my heart. Yo, that sounds pretty, uh, intense. <laughs> this person's having some hard times. It's even worse than the last note. Ghost or not, this is just plain scary. Could the culprit behind this really be a ghost? That idol who committed suicide. Uh, Even yeah. if that's possible, it's too soon to judge yet. Uh, if we could just figure out who wrote these, I wouldn't be as freaked out. Idol, suicide, morning glory. Calistegia? A what? Calistegia. It's another name for morning glory, but don't tell me. What? Will turned to Molly Sons and sent out, but she was staring into space and was trying to remember something. Does she? I mean, you know what this note is about? N no, but it reminded me of something I heard when our appearance at LMB was finalized. A very popular idol who was with Takara Productions passed away a few years back. It was apparently big news back then. Just before she died, she wrote one final song. Calistegia, a flower commonly known as Morning Glory. And that song, Calistegia, that's yeah. the new song we're debuting at the LMB Fest. An idol that belonged to Takara Productions, who has a connection with Kanamin Kitchen. It does match the profile we came up with. Uh, this conversation is going in a bad direction. Yes. Are you saying the culprit is seriously a, a, a ghost? Gia, breathe, relax. It's too early to jump to any conclusions. But yeah, that's what it seems like. To connect here. <laughs> I calm down the rowdy team and look squarely at Tomoe san. Whether or not the idol is the culprit of this case, I think we need to get more Tomoe information. San, do you know why that particular song was selected for Kanamin Kitchen? Ms. Ochimizu. Ms. Ochimizu? Yes, it was her decision. Calistegia never saw the light of day. After what happened, its release was put on hold indefinitely. But Miss Ochimizu said that'd be a key selling point. Seriously? <laughs> Tomoe san, um, if you don't mind, can I ask you the name of the idol that passed away? Oh, yes, it's Yuko Osada. Oh. Yo, she really just has a knack for coming Why out of nowhere. You here? Yuko's curse. The notion is so ridiculous. I'd expect to find it on the cover of a tabloid. Okay. You don't don't need to roast like us. How can you say that for sure? Having Kanamin Kitchen sing Yuko-san's song might be an effective marketing strategy. But it could well be thanks to you that they were thrown into this incident. I can see your position. In a place like this, it's easy to think some monster or ghost is responsible. Mm -hmm. However, it's impossible mm -hmm. that this is Yuko's curse. It's flatly out of the question. You can't know that for sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And that's the end of the conversation. Okay. Tomoe, Can't wait to prove her wrong, boys. More carefully, if you don't want to make a fool of yourself. See what chaos you've caused. Uh, I'm sorry. 
How could you? Clapper. Kamoe, Jiraiya, Izanagi, Clapper. Miss Ochi Ochimizu's attitude was clearly aggravating Chie and Yukiko. It is strange. Miss Ochimizu does tend to speak aggressively, but this time it feels different, like a rush of emotion. Why is that? As I try to calm, as I try to calm Chie and Yukiko down, I ponder the possibilities. Understand their feelings. We're trying to account for actual victims here. Being worried for their safety makes us emotional. But attacking Miss Ochimizu is the wrong way to deal with it. We don't even know the extent of her connection here. Everyone, that's enough. We don't know if Miss Ochimizu is even a part of this. No, I apologize. I shouldn't have lashed out. Mm -hmm. In any case, I'll take it from here. Tomoe, stay here with me until you've recovered. Is that clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Mr. Mr. Chimizu's come apology. She and you can go come back to themselves. I know. You can go and Chie don't want to blame Mr. Chimizu if it's not justified. Yosuke starts talking again, trying to change the subject. So why are you here, Mr. Chimizu? Is Tamamine okay? Yes, I came after you. I figured if you saved another girl, she would need looking after, like in Tamami's case. Okay, but where's Tamami? As for Tamami, she's fine. That room seemed pretty safe, and she's calmed herself down. Oh, okay. Idols aren't that fragile. I see. Thank you. Anyway, you've successfully <laughs> saved Tamami and Tamoe. I'd like to thank you, but I think I'll wait until this whole mess is over. We're looking forward to that. Let's get out of here together, all of us. I'm afraid I must leave that to you. Neither Tomoe nor I are of much use here. It's always like that. Every crisis I face, I'm made aware of my powerlessness. Go once you're ready. And play detective all you want. But that's quite enough throwing around baseless accusations. Okay, we're gonna get it right just to clap her voice. As a chooser that makes her final statement and leaves, but I still have my doubts. Her powerlessness? Again, something in her words feel wrong, sending almost like self-deprecation. From that, I think there's a reason behind the way she speaks normally. Somehow I can't take her at face value. I hate to say this, but I just can't seem to like her. The way she acts, I'd be surprised to find someone who does. I have a feeling she has her reasons for it. Anyway, let's hurry. We need to meet up with Risei's team and find a way out. I'm sorry I made things awkward. I'll focus on solving the case. Yeah, me too. I'm really getting hungry, so let's just get this over with and figure out everything else once we get back home. We gotta bring them back. Like you, Chie. Sounds like a plan. That does sound uh, exactly like you. Nobody would think of dinner at a time like this except for you know who. Aw, oh, sheesh, guys. I can't help it. I'm only human. <laughs> Everyone laughs at Chie's pouting as usual. Yeah, we're fine. Just like we always are. After exchanging looks with our friends, we stood at my side through countless trials. We stand towards the door. We, st we walk towards the door. Oh, a night to remember. After Yutin's left the dressing room, all that remained was the tumorous flustered Tomoe sitting alongside her. Hmm. Some build up on your face. Oh, um, I've been here since yesterday, and I couldn't do anything about it, so. I see. Yes, that makes sense. Bum, bum, bum. You're the eldest member of Konamin Kitchen, correct? The LMB Festival is right around the corner. Huh? What? Oh, yes! <laughs> you know, I've heard that exercise is good for the skin. 
I heard that too. Uh, I'll exercise. Uh, some dance practice. Please allow me right now, right here. Go on then. Do it. The woman stands in front of Chimizan and begins dancing desperately. Uh, no, no, you're not getting it at all. Listen to me, Tomoe. You need some real nuance, some emotion in that dance, something like. A female veteran of the company's lowest department advising the new addition to the group. A woman's worth is measured by the number of men she has conquered. Do you feel her pride? Her sorrow? Oh my god! I'm ashamed of myself! I didn't understand my routine at all! <laughs> During exiting the dressing room, I took a good look around. All right, there's no sign of any shadows appearing here. I think it's safe to leave. So trim around Zay and tone on her son back. Glancing towards my side, I noticed Yosuke stretching. Good. Looks like he managed to get a little All rest right. back there. Then let's meet up with Rise. Whew. Man, I'm really starting to ache here. It's because of you guys that we were able to save Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. Thanks for being with me. Come on, man. Why are you thanking us? We're the investigation team, remember? Saving people in danger is our thing! You know, you, I was wondering. It's Why about Mizu Chimizu. Did she seem to you like she was acting kind she of was. strange? Miso Chimizu? Something in my memory flickered at as a question. I did feel something wrong with the Chimizu back there. Is Yosuke talking about how much Chimizu got suddenly emotional? I mean, it was strange, but... It was a little unusual. Like all of a sudden her emotions got the better of her. You noticed too, huh? She was still acting pretty lousy, but it was kind of different this time. Hey, now that you mention it, it felt like she really wanted to end the conversation quick, huh? Yeah, right when the topic of that idol Yuko came up. It's only a hunch right now, but my gut tells me there's something she's not telling us. But Absolutely. What? I agree with most of Yosuke's points, opinions. He doesn't, we don't know yet, but Mr. Chimizu is definitely hiding something from us. Likely has something to do with this y y Yuko Osada, but. Well, I don't know yet. That's actually why I thought I'd bring it up. What do you think of it all? I mean, including the whole Yuko Osada thing. You mean whether or not this Yuko-san is the culprit? Mm -hmm. I'd like to stay away from that possibility. Hey, don't forget. The LMB website's rumor was about the curse of the dead idol in the first place. Mm hmm. What with these messages, which read almost like suicide notes. It does point to Yuko Osada causing this incident. Longing for bonds she couldn't have before. Also, she was with Takuro Productions, and Kanami and Kitchen is performing her song at the LMB. Huh? But... She knew uh, too much. I don't think oh, them I, singing her song it, is a valid point. That voice knew a lot of personal I, I, things I, about Tamami-san and Tomoe-san. It's hard to believe Yuko-san would know that much about them. Yeah, exactly! See? I knew Yuko-san wasn't the culprit! Huh. You've got a point there. Tomomi didn't know much about Yuko-san, and it seemed like Tomomi didn't either. Besides... <laughs> Kanamine Kitchen hasn't been around for that long. When you mm -hmm. think about it, there's no way Yuko-san could have known them. Mm 
as though. I thought, you know, in Yo's game, I'm pretty sure that the info in Konami Kitchen is accurate. If that's the case, it's hard to think that the voice is Yoko-san. Oh, but that crap. means... It looks like we're back at square one. If it's not her, then who the hell's the culprit? If the author of those notes is really Yuko-san like Tomoe-san suggested, then we can assume hmm. the culprit also knows about Yuko-san. So it's someone who's related to Takara Productions who knows Tomoe-chan and Tamami-chan very well. And also knows about Yuko-san. Do we know anyone who might fit all of that? Nope. Hey, who said it's limited to people we know? Huh? But then, we're out of luck! Why don't we meet with Risei-chan? It's always better to have more heads to think with. Oh yeah! Yeah, we're gonna meet up with them. with them! The actual detective. With the real detective and our leader together, there's no mystery we can't solve! <laughs> uh, oh. Why are you the one bragging? <laughs> I'll try my best. Let's head to the rendezvous point then. Suddenly, we felt in shock. At first, that an enemy was attacking. This seems like something else entirely. This is. Whoa! What? What the? An earthquake! Whoa! This is not a good sign. Something might have happened to the other group. Let's hurry. Oh my God! <laughs> Who's gonna be the leader? Okay, that's what we'll be doing next time. <laughs>